So you asked for it, and so did I. We do have a review of Mama Wanda's new food truck. And it's coming from an actual cast mate of hers on Love and Marriage, Huntsville. Stormy has checked in and is giving a full report on how Mama Wanda's food tastes. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. It is Memorial Day weekend, and look, you know when you get daily and consistent content, there's always something to report on. And as you know, over the weekend, there was a lot of drama between the Hults and the Scots. And it seems as if Mama Wanda was in the middle of it. Apparently, she might have been the cause of it. We won't really know what exactly happened until it airs on the show. How convenient. But I also told you in my other video from today that there is a petition from fans and they want Mama Wanda gone. Now there are over a thousand, over a thousand of people that have signed this petition. Again, some of you were looking for it. I'll post the link in the description again. I Look, I'm not telling you to sign it, but a lot of people do feel that Mama Wanda is toxic and she needs to go. Well, I wanted to know what the hell was the food like? Because, you know, Southern cooking can be good. She might be a terrible human being. But the food might be hitting. Well, Stormy, you know, multi-millionaire, wonderful business. She's actually been a really good addition to the show. Some people don't like her, but I always say that's a good thing for, for television. If people didn't have a feeling towards you, then you'd be Tiffany. Oh, you was getting smart. Sorry, Tiffany. Just because they don't have a feeling towards you doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. It just means that you're not good for reality TV. You're just a good, decent human being. Anyways, so Stormy took to her social media. I believe this is her private Facebook. Thank you to all of you that sent it to me. Because you know I wanted a review. And this is the most I've talked about love and marriage outside of my recaps. Well, she gave us a review. A very thorough one. So let's get into what Stormy says. Okay, so Stormy says this. Let me go on record and say this. Since Miss Wanda wants a review from me about plates my husband was purchasing, I definitely did go over and decide and decided to try it as well and let him get me a plate. And still, till this day, ain't never seen someone that old try to fight and go to serving plates. Are you serious? I was joking because it seemed like she was putting on for the cameras, which is sad considering how low she went. And by the way, I was on Love and Marriage Huntsville cameras still mic'd up when I said that to her. I hope they show it nothing to hide. She goes on and says this. She says, but let's get to the review of someone who really do this business ish. Bloop. Everyone's taste buds are different, but this is how I felt about it. I was going to try to spare her this review, but she wanted to take the, take the fact that in spite of everything, my husband was willing to support her black business because to be honest, we still be confused about everyone's dynamic and trying to stay out of, out of mess that always ends up working itself out to the point where everyone becomes cordial again. One minute they beefing, the next minute they cool. She's right. I get it. You know, we always give that advice to stay out of people's relationships, even when they're asking you for their advice, because one minute they're about to break up and the next minute they're back together. And now everyone's hating on you for, for voicing your opinion. And this is someone's mama. OK, but on to the food, she says. I tried to eat it, but I couldn't. She was right. The ribs were overcooked. Just weird tasting. The mac, the mac tasted like plain noodles with no flavor, regardless of cheese being added. Not your southern hands can't make mac and cheese. <laughs> My friend, Azara, she makes the best mac and cheese I've ever had. And she's from Memphis, Tennessee. Just want to point that out. Shout out to Azara. Back to this. She said, the mac tasted like plain noodles with no flavor, regardless of cheese being added. The green were flavorless as well. 
Didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> I didn't try the chicken, so I won't speak on that. Damn it, I really wanted her to try the chicken. Apparently, my mama didn't mind the chicken. All right, we need we need some more um her mama on the show too, because her in the back seat of, of that IG live, Mama Stormy was giving it. But back to this, she says, but yeah, I'm going to stick with the gels when it when it comes to food. He deserves the support. I guess that's another um, business that's down there. He deserves the support. An amazing person who knows how to remain professional, especially when it comes to business. And as far as Miss Wanda's food business, let us pray for you. And that broke down truck. You saw the preview for next week's episode. The truck. So she really was going to go with that truck. Damn. My question is, if y'all got it like that, then why go and find the cheapest truck ever? Who the F eating out of that? Or were y'all once again putting on for the cameras? Or were y'all? So is she not just directing this at Miss Wanda, but Marceau and Tisha? Or were y'all once again putting on for the cameras? I guess the truck can match the food because they both trash. <laughs> I, did, I said I was going to do a one and done video earlier today about that Wanda petition. However, when a review comes through to my hands as I'm trying to get myself together for the day, I said, screw getting some food. I need to do this video because all of you, as you're eating your good food today, your good barbecue, as you as you taste on that today, think of Mama Wanda's flavorless mac and cheese i have never even the worst mac and cheese i've ever had mac and cheese out the box never never tasted flavorless how to how, how to how sway <laughs> guys i want to know if you're in huntsville and you were at this event and saw something tell us more and if you tasted mama wanda's food or if you're even willing to like i don't want to even encourage you guys because, you know, I don't want a lawsuit of if anything happens to you. Guys, let's continue this conversation below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Happy Memorial Day and thanks for watching.